This is Multilink Smart Tracker. It's an eight outlet power strip that earns its name by offering remote power management and monitoring capabilities for Department of Transportation equipment, or really any devices that could benefit from remote economical line power. Ethernet compatibility and an embedded web page on the unit allow administrators and technicians to remotely monitor and control devices from anywhere, making work easier and saving you time and money. In this three-part video series, we will first introduce the Smart Tracker and its hardware and show how to initially configure the unit with a laptop or desktop to use the embedded web page functionality. Then in the next video, we will provide an overview of the Smart Tracker's web page and the different options available to users on there. In the third video, we will demonstrate real-world usage of the Smart Tracker. This is the front of the unit. From left to right is the AC circuit breaker, then the eight independent outlets with individual LEDs, which denote active power to the outlets, then the ethernet port, a push button with hot start and IP reset capabilities, and lastly, the unit's LCD display. The back of the unit includes the mini RF GPS antenna connector, the temperature and VDC inputs, the external temperature and humidity inputs, some output relays with LEDs, your input contacts with LEDs, and a slot for the power plug. The Smart Tracker was designed primarily for use in rack systems and enclosures, including standard 19-inch racks. They can be wired to the appropriate inputs and outputs in a matter of minutes. All power connections on the front of the unit can be made using equipment with 515P power cords, while the terminal plugs on the rear panel use bare copper wiring. The LCD display on the front of the Smart Tracker automatically scrolls to list crucial operating parameters and information, which is helpful for technicians who are performing on-site maintenance or service. We will now walk you through each of the display's menu options and explain briefly what each one says. The default menu screen displays the Smart Tracker's input voltage. The next screen shows the Smart Tracker's total AC current draw of all presently active outlets. Next, the LCD shows the Smart Tracker's internal temperature. Via the web page, users can set temperature to appear in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. After the temperature screen, users can see the unit's internal ambient humidity in percentage form. Next up is the date and time page. If they're incorrect here, users can update the date and time on the Smart Tracker's web page. Following the date and time is the Smart Tracker's current IP address. The unit can be reset to the factory IP address of 192.168.100.1 by holding the push start button for 10 seconds and then releasing it. After IP, naturally, as a page showing the Smart Tracker's unique MAC address. Lastly, the firmware version page displays the current firmware build number of the Smart Tracker. Next, we're going to show how to get the Smart Tracker hooked up with its web page so that it can be accessed from anywhere. While the Smart Tracker's LCD display certainly comes in handy for site maintenance, it's always more convenient to use the embedded web page to remotely edit settings and schedule certain outlet functions to occur remotely. The Smart Tracker will simply display 0.0.0.0 until a local area network is discovered. The desktop or laptop's network interface card must now be configured to the same IP range as the Smart Tracker. Find the Network and Internet submenu in the settings and click Change Adapter Options. Right click on Ethernet and then select Properties. From the window that appears, click to highlight Internet Protocol version 4 and then click the Properties button. From this window, select Use the following IP address from the options and enter an IP address in the range of the Smart Tracker's current IP address. So, if it's set to the factory default address, you could enter 192.168.100.2. Press tab after entering this information to autofill the subnet mask, then set the default gateway to the Smart Tracker's factory IP address, which again is 192.168.100.1. Click the OK button on the bottom of the window and then close on the window that's open behind it. The computer's network interface card may now begin communicating with the Smart Tracker, as you can see here. To make sure the desktop or laptop has been properly configured to view the Smart Tracker's web page, open your preferred web browser and enter the address displayed on the device's LCD in the address bar. The user will be taken to the Smart Tracker summary page. We will pick up here next time with part 2 of our Smart Tracker overview series, focusing on the web page. Be sure to check out the description of this video for links to the Smart Tracker's page on our site and the user manual so you can learn more. Thanks for watching.